guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today for breakfast, I made ham and it's cooked really goodly and it's so delicious. I love it. It's my first time I've ever made it and it's really good. guys welcome to today's video good morning welcome to today today is a friday and sam is home and today is glorious outside it's probably a, about two degrees above freezing and it's just beautiful and sunny sam sam came down into chores this morning he made a penny her mash what a good man all i have to do down at the barn is sweep the floors it's the one thing he doesn't really do very well and normally it wouldn't really matter except for the chiropractor is coming here today it's Christmas for Penny, you guys. Today is my Christmas gift day oh. for Penny. Penny, you're getting Christmas. Oh, speak of the devil. Here she comes, Miss America. Miss Canada. Oh, look at how good you look. Will you wait here while I go get you a carrot? Because I got nothing. Look at her eyes. Not be looking too shabby. Just a minute. Here I come. She knows. Here you go. I got a carrot for you. Don't run away just because Sam's scary. Right. Ooh. Sorry. How are your eyes today? They're still gooey. So I think, so the next change is going to be to treat her eyes with a cream. And I'm all for that. Okay, don't get so pushy. Back it up a little. So today is Christmas for Penny. She is getting her chiropractic appointment. I've been waiting a long time for this. I called the chiropractor very soon after... Penny came home and it took this long to get an appointment. She's really busy around Christmas time. I don't know why. But anyway, she's coming today and she's going to meet you for the first time. And I'm excited. I, if you guys have been watching, then you'll know that Sophie had a dream recently where the chiropractor came and Penny, after the chiropractor came, Penny wasn't girthy anymore. So I'm hoping that that is seriously what's going to happen. I believe it. I believe it. She dreamed it. I believe it. Before Penny can get chiropractored, our boys are getting chiropractored. Well, right, we're ready to rock it. Sylvia had a really good, healthy breakfast. Ooh. She had <laughs> gives her energy. Ooh. I, on the other hand, I, on the other hand, had toast. Oh dear. It's true. I had toast, and I feel like crap now. Like. I do better with low carbs. I feel like we should be going that way. But when I have limited time, low carbs, I don't know, sometimes I just, I, have I cave. I have enough time to make a good, good food. Yeah. All right, so usually they're over there, but Gabby doesn't see them. So we're headed this way. I have my purse, which is awkward. How many people carry their purse through? You have the big one. A horse field. I know. Usually that's why I wear the one that goes over my shoulder. But today I couldn't do that because I don't know why. I just didn't have time to get ready. And oh, I couldn't do it because I had to carry my purse to pay the chiropractor. And I had to carry my wallet. My wallet's too big for that. I see turkey prints. Look at that. Those are turkey prints. Those are turkey prints. You know how I know? Because this field is filled with turkeys. What if our horses are hanging out with turkeys? That'd be someone... fun. Sophie's just telling me this story about how someone prank fainted in front of their pony. And then their pony put their head on top of the person. And then um, the pony realized that she was not getting up. So then they laid down beside her. Aww. Wish that could happen to me. It is going to happen to me one day, you guys. Like, today's the last piece of the puzzle Penny will have had. your head on that everything that I can give to her to make her happy <laughs> to make her happier except for the bond which we're working on and we've I've been riding her I want to do some Liberty stuff with her which I have planned for this week okay walking through the woods in the snow is a lot harder especially with a purse especially with a purse oh I hope we find them I don't know why we follow Gabby I already found a shortcut 
When we first moved here, they're there. Second field, so we have to climb a fence. When we first moved here, I said to the guy, well, how do you get your horses in the winter? Like, do you lock them to like a closer area? He said, no, you just go get them. And I was like, what? <laughs> how? But now that I'm doing it, it's glorious. It's beautiful. We're in the big, big field. So we're not getting them. So we have to go all the way around. We have to go, oh my gosh. I'll, I'll, I'll stand here and video. I see them. So normally they're in this field, which is a really nice field for horses. It goes all the way down there. It's sunny and they have shaded trees. Yeah, it's gorgeous. But they're over in that field, which Gabby thinks that she's gonna be able to climb that fence, but you can't. Look how gorgeous though. Like it goes all the way through those woods. All right, so we've never actually been this far in the woods before. No, I've never. Like a big rock. This is not. I mean, you're flipping around, bro. What the actual? Whoever let Gabby be in charge, she's climbing the fence. Oh my gosh. They'll all come. If she brings one or two, they'll all come. Oh my God. She did it. Good job, Gabby. We're here cheering you on. Uh oh, look, they're on the run. Sophie, go the other way. Your horse is coming. Oh, Kino's doing fast. Kino's getting Oh, gosh. See the fastest horse there? Look at him come from behind. He's the race horse. He's the win it to in it to win it boy. No storm. A bunch of brats. So like literally, Gabby climbed the Gabby has to climb the fence again. I should call this vlog the Adventures on the Farm. Adventures in the Paddock. If we're late, it's wrong. I just got a message. It's probably from her. She's probably like, I'm here, Laura. Where are you? And. Look at that tree. So cool though. Like, if I was a child and lived here when I was little, we used to spend so much time in the woods behind our house. Oh, I see them. Well, how are we getting out of here, Sophie? Oh, it's fine. You just sit on, the, on your butt and slide down the hill. <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness. All right, so that's the hay over there. The only person I'm worried about is Gabby because she's behind somewhere. Right there. Oh, she oh she climbed the fence again. What an adventure. Yeah. What? What don't you get? She knows more thoroughbred. What the heck, Storm? Storm. He knows more thoroughbred, but he doesn't go fast. He doesn't go fast. It's racer. I know, but I mean hunters are not fast horses, so we picked good in him. I he's. Know, but he's naturally... Oh, there's Storm. It's Storm. Oh my goodness. Guaranteed they saw Gabby going over the wall and now they're headed home. Guaranteed. Well, we almost know these woods like the back of our heart now. You have snow in your shoe? Did you wear boots? How did you get snow in your boots? Yeah. Because they are tight around my calf. Oh. See? Should be your calves are good. They're all watching us. All the horses are like, who's that coming through the woods? Our horses are hiding behind them all. They're chasing the turkeys. Finn just came face to face with a turkey. Oh, poor Chino's hobbling along. Yeah, it was the fairy or what's the chiropractor that messaged me? She's like, I'll be there in 20 minutes. And I'm like, yeah, well, we're in the woods. <laughs> Oh, finally. Just don't let me fall as I navigate the rocks and the trees and the snow and the leaves and the turkeys. All right. <laughs> They're all looking at me. They're all staring at me. They're ready to run from the purse. They're like, she's got a purse. Run. Like coming. Like, I would have. Yes, bad boys. Poor Chino, it took him a long time. He got that made him sore that run. So we're gonna take our horses in and come back. Chino. All right. Do you want to put the rest of the oh, storm? He's like, I will have my food. He tried to run away. 
I grab this blanket. I need a drink. I need a drink. <sighs> All right, so storm has already been done. Gabby's in here playing with Kaylee's horses because they, Gabby caught them for the chiropractor. Yeah. Aw, look at Tex. He's like, wait for me. Play with me. Um, your horse is done. All right. Stay there, Tex. Tex, Tex is making a run for it. He's like, I'm coming with you. <laughs> He's such a loving horse. You no know, sport in his bare belly. Oh, it's prickly. Yeah. I'll need you to do that. He's sweaty though. He's he's warm. All that running. Did you notice he was the slowest horse in the whole pack? His hooves were hurting. Yeah, your hooves were hurting. I'd like to see that race again. I mean, he was giving. Once his hooves are good. Yeah, once there's no snow. Yeah. All right. So uh, I don't I, I don't like the video when the chiropractor or the farrier. Or, and I feel like it's an invasion of their door's privacy. Open. My door's open. So we're gonna go home. The chiropractor is taking care of Haley's horses right now. Uh, we're gonna go home and I'm gonna get Penny ready and then she's gonna come. Like, Isn't that nice that she does all that? Comes here and then drives all the way back to our house and... Oh, she's doing Penny? Yeah, she's doing Penny. Penny Pickle, the I'm first time she ever gets to meet her. And every time I have access to a professional, I ask them everything. Like I ask her, she'll tell me everything about Penny's body. What she said about our horses right now is that they're better than the last time, and she's really happy with their like body condition. And Chino was out a little, and Finn was out a little, and Storm was really happy. Like she can tell how happy a horse is by their body and how they feel. She said they're all doing really well. I though. saw her. Yeah. So I be so far. All right. Okay. So you know what I'm gonna ask Storm? What? Fish and muscles. Okay, well, let's go. All right, so I, we are home. Sam, I have a proposition for you. Video, did you guys see what happened? This is Sam's phone case, and it has a battery in it, so it char you charge the phone case, and then when your ba phone's battery dies, it just uses the battery that's in the phone case. It's like double power, and last night it exploded. The whole thing pushed his phone right out. It's like, all got all... Oops, it got all fat and swollen and exploded. Yeah, that happened last Okay, time. so you're gonna take me to the store. We're getting um crabs, mussels, and fish. Crabs. There's a, gonna be a, a cost crab. limit on here. So if you, you got to cost. I don't want crab. Why? Is uh, crabs how bad? How long does it take to cook chicken Crab wings? meat. Just get her some like imitation how, crab meat. How long does it take to cook chicken wings? She wants the chicken wings. Yeah, you're gonna have to start I want the right whole now, crabs. You want the whole crabs? Yeah. I'd like to see you cra like cook me some crabs. Yeah. All right, she yeah. wants like fish you can cut its head off. She yeah. wants like so, crabs you can hey. cook. So you guys know that I said yesterday that Sophie's like really into cooking. She's been watching, what's the channel that you've been watching? Ace Videos. Ace Videos, and they cook all these weird things and do all these weird things, and now she wants to do all these weird things. And so today, and like the girl does not even like fish, but she wants to go buy fish. So she wants to go buy fish. She's gonna cook us some fish, and I believe in her. That independent they do. All right, I'm here with Sophie, and we're in the grocery store, and we're going to get fish. Some kind of fish thing. And crabs. And crabs. And mussels. There's the fish. fish. There's salmon. That's trout. Rainbow trout. Yes, rainbow trout. It's already gutted and cleaned though. Is that all right? Yeah. Can't clean it yourself. It still has its head. And then they got mussels here. Mussels. Yes. Yeah. Trout and, and they got lobster. No crabs. They already got like um, crabs in a crabs in a thing over here. Crab, crabs in a bag. <laughs> you just have to cook them. Okay, so they have other ones. You got to go around though. I'm gonna get some of these mussels and a rainbow trout over there. That's seven ninety nine a pound. That's gonna be like uh, how many pounds is that? Don't we only need one fish? Yeah. All right. Let's wait for somebody to come here and we'll get it. Just the one that's the first one of the year. Yeah, that's good. 
the whole fish. Garlic. Mm. All right, so we got our fish. Bring what are we crab. cooking tonight? Um, so tonight we're gonna have crab. Crab and, and mussels. mussels. All right, can we eat them? Or maybe not. Maybe only one of us should eat them, like your mom or I. What? So if we end up in the hospital, somebody can drive us. One of us can drive. <laughs> right, Tara, we're home from the grocery store. I'm cooking some, some wings in the fryer, in the active fryer. And the chef Sophie will tell you what she's doing. And defrosting the crab legs. And I'm waiting for these to do something. <laughs> you gotta clean these mussels. So you gotta soak them in water for a bit. But only one opened. Only one. Oh well. They'll probably open soon. Well, you better read up on what you have to do with them. He's right here. Oh no! Oh no, it's the same one. Is it broken? That one? Well, something happened. Weird. Anyways, Sophie's cleaning the mussels. You're gonna have to de-beard them soon. Where's the beard? <laughs> Where? I think we got females. I think they all have beards. Oh, this one's opening. Yeah, leave them in there. Does it have a tongue? It looks like it has a tongue. Yeah, you eat the part that has the tongue. Oh, that is good. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get the fish going, and Sophie bought a big trout for tomorrow. Okay, so uh, this vlog is probably already too long. I'm excited that Sophie's making us an amazing, amazing fish dinner. I hope she likes it because she normally hates fish. I wanted to tell you guys what happened with the chiropractor. Uh, Penny did not seem that Penny did not appear to understand what the chiropractor was. She definitely has not seen many chiropractors. Um, uh, you guys might remember that Sophie told me that she had a dream that the chiropractor came. Penny was girthy one time after the chiropractor and then she never was girthy again. And I believed that that was going to happen. Laura, that's so crazy. How do you, why do you believe that? Okay, well, so she said that Penny was tight in all of her muscles. That's not going to make a big difference, I don't think. But she also told me this. The chiropractor told me that in, in horses that horses with bad livers with livers that are out of alignment are angry it's the anger system in the body so any horse that has like ang that's angry and gets frustrated and angry a lot um, has usually has a liver out of alignment and then she told me that because the liver is out of alignment it often does puts pressure onto the pancreas and the pancreas runs along the sides of the horse i think she said pancreas and that oftentimes you'll see an angry horse with a liver problem uh also girthy because anytime you touch their sides it causes them to have pain and she said i bet you if you fix this horse's liver it will eliminate the problem i was like that's it that's the thing that's what that's the thing that's gonna change penny's life like that's the thing that is gonna change penny's life like i believe it so much and when she was saying it to me i got these goosebumps on me like and i said that's the thing like i know but that's what sophie was dreaming about that's what i gotta fix so she told me uh how to like go she told me a couple of brands that sell like a liver a liver fix so she said like this is what you got to do to fix her liver uh, give her this stuff and so I'm gonna go tomorrow and I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna give it to her and she's gonna be cinchy one more time girthy one more time and then she's gonna be fixed I think I'm gonna fix Penny cinchy. yeah girthy I think I'm gonna fix her you guys but anyway that is it for today I'll let you know tomorrow how much we loved all the seafood that Sophie's gonna make for us I hope Sylvie's going to like it, but we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget, tomorrow is the clinic day, and we're excited. Oh. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just